This is Pat Gunn, and we are playing Skyrim. And it looks like Jazargo is still uh, doing his exercise. So, we just delivered some... Uh, oh, I don't remember a quest being in here. We just delivered um, the cogs to... Uh, Go ahead, and I'm sorry, which direction was it? And to the right. And where was it? Something about reading some notes. So like straight ahead, somewhere in here. I have no idea what that quest marker is talking about. Yeah, I think I'll just ignore it for now. So we've delivered some cogs, and uh, what we are going to do next? Let's see how uh, what our weight is right now. Two hundred fifty-three. That's reasonable, it's not ideal. We're not actually carrying that much stuff, so I'm a little confused as to why our, uh, why our weight is so high at the moment. And this is not that unusual for, uh, for this point in the game. You really start having... Uh, you start finding yourself having an absurd amount of uh, amount of weight capacity that's just consumed. I guess I have a lot of Karas eggs. I'm going to swing by home, drop off some alchemy ingredients. And maybe that'll help a bit. I really like the design of some of uh, some of these elements in the game. It's unfortunate that you don't really get to see the detail when you're playing unless you uh, provide a light source and really uh, poke around. But I guess that's really what makes video games immersive. It's when they have details that are there if you go looking for them that aren't shoved in your face. I guess that's true of real life as well. Um, I happen to have a microscope, and I like having a microscope. Um, I sometimes walk around and take samples with a test tube, bring things uh, back home to look at, but most of the time people don't uh, pay a lot of attention to things around them. Understa uh, understandably, because there's so much detail. So. We don't have any gear that we particularly need to, uh, so we do have, actually, do we have the left ring in here? Yes, we do. So we will make a left ring for uh, sniffing. using the black star. And 
that should be pretty useful when I'm improving or uh, when I'm improving things in the future. And uh, I think we're still collecting nightshade and urn root. So those are ingredients, and we're going to put away our other crafting stuff. So that brings us down to 186. So not that great, but at least it's something. Okay, so now we are going to see if we can make it down to Blackreach. Blackreach is a gigantic cave that the Dwemer found uh, that exists far beneath Skyrim. down there. There was one of these quests, I think, and I don't think it was the Staff of Magnus quest. Yeah, it was the quest to transcribe the lexicon in Alftand. So we passed by here earlier on the way to uh, the White House, or uh, the Lighthouse, rather. And this time we're actually going to go inside. Okay. So, again, we are in the far north of Skyrim. And let's drop down. And hopefully I can manage this jump without screwing it up. And yes. And Jazargo hopefully will have followed uh, us successfully rather than falling uh, to his doom. Rather than having fallen to his doom. Okay, and this is definitely a situation where Frost at Atronach in our left hand, Bound Bow in our right. That sounds like a good mix. But I don't think the entrance is particularly populated, so we should be able to just run, wide run right ahead. You can also see that there's a lot of stuff on the floor here. We just heard something nasty. What is it? I know you are trying to keep it for yourself, Jesus. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more food. Shut up! Shut up! Don't like me, Jesus. What is it? Always try to keep We do not need any more Dwemer Cogs, and they are heavy, so we are not going to be picking them up anymore.
Okay. Huh, two hits from uh, Jusargo with... I don't quite remember what we gave him, but it was a pretty nice weapon. Or two hits from us. Well, that works for me. So the oil is a pretty decent ingredient and definitely one. I am not a smooth skin. I am another another Kajit. Oh goodness, he's axe crazy. to do a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage to us sweet another look we need more magicka definitely um, we don't have enough restoration skill to so we could s certainly improve enchanting or we don't have enough to improve smithing anymore Block is nice, but we're going to leave that alone for now. Sneak would be kind of nice. Definitely don't have enough for speech. Now for illusion, you could get closer to quiet casting. That's tempting. Or for conjuration, yeah, we're, we're done with conjuration for now. Let's, go, let's take Enchanter all the way up to 5. From now on, we, the only other enchanting things we want are Corpus Enchanter, which is just a uh, stepping stone to extra effect, which is the best enchanting effect uh, ever. And the only thing that we really care about now at this point. So Muffle in the left hand. And what did we put in our right hand? We put Bound Bow. Well, that's good enough. Definitely sounds unfriendly, whatever it is. And that looks unfriendly. Yep. Teamwork. Accidentally, I'm picking up some junk that I really probably shouldn't be picking up. Okay, that sound isn't monsters, it's actually these lifty things. So we could stand on them and actually use them to get up to a chest. I think we're going to do that. Uh, 
this is how we do it. If I can actually manage to step on it correctly. This one is moving at a different pace than that one, and... Okay. And that brings me up here, where I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, dwarven metal ingots. Potion and a chest. Looking good. Okay, so I actually could hop over that and use this to uh, actually let's what? Whoops. Okay, well that didn't work out quite right, and I'm not gonna bother doing it again. So Am I heading the right way? Or did I come from this way? Nope, this is a new direction. But the game is actually suggesting well, that where I want to go, I'm walking away from it now. I, I do kind of like the way that the, uh, I'm guessing it's heat that's that's distorting the air around these things. Oh, spiders can open doors. I've never seen them do that before. It's neat to know that they know how to do that. With 50-something lockpicks, I don't need to worry too hard about uh, running out. Occasionally, in, in past visits to Dwemer uh, Ruins, I managed to run out of lockpicks. And that was always kind of irritating. I'm not sure why I'm, uh, why I'm doing so much better this time. Unless I'm... Uh, unless my dungeon habits have changed significantly. Which they might have. Okay. So there are passages to the left and the right. There are spiders to the left. And this looks like a particularly nasty trap. I'm not sure what it will do, but I would prefer not to find out. And again, lots of extra soul gems. And there are doors on two sides. Although generally locked doors don't tend to be uh, plot essential, so they're kind of a hint that something is a side uh, side path. Whoa. the spiders that just stand and slash at the walls, they're meant to be a sign that although the Dwemer were pretty amazing at having stuff that's still going hundreds of years after uh, 
after they uh, after they're gone. Their creations are not perfect. And if you don't jump over these, they can chuck you off. And that's kind of irritating. So you could try You could try passing in front of them with uh, the right timing, but I find it easier just to uh, jump over them. Okay, next area. And the problem with rotating nothing is that not a lot happens when you do it. So trust me that I am rotating this nothing with as much uh, fervor as I rotate other objects. And zooming in and out on it. Okay. So. Up ahead, I see with my little eye a chest. More goodies. And this looks like a Dwemer thingy. And I'm worried that I'm not leveling my conjuration spell at uh, skill fast enough. So I'm switching my left hand to summoning a, a Frost uh, Atronarch. that I often fumble when looking for the healing spell in the menu is that there's a later on uh, healing spell called Closed Wounds that I've gotten used to casting with uh, previous characters and this character being a little bit more low leveled uh, Closed Wounds isn't yet the right spell to get now this is a trap and I am going to hope that Jizargo manages not to, to spoil it. Because there's a chance it would kill him if, if it did. Good. And what is this? This is... Oh. Well, Kemp okay. did not need to do that. There should be a lever. Here we go. That unlocks this. And here we are. And part of the great hike downwards. I'm going to duck down and... So I'm not playing a super conjuration specific character. If I were, there are some perks that let you summon uh, foes a little bit further away from you that are really useful. And we're hearing some clattering. And we're seeing signs of Falmer 
construction. I wouldn't be surprised if in a little bit we start seeing signs of uh, Dwemer and Falmer fighting again. Is it off to the right or the left? We're not yet quite in the vicinity of the pick point. Let's see. The problem with expert level locks is that it's easy to pass over the magic spot. Uh, it's over to the right, almost all the way. Maybe somewhere around here? Yeah. And a skill book with lock picking. Well, that's spiffy. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. And a master chest. Well, that's going to be fun. See if we can. Okay, it's about halfway to the right. Maybe a little bit over halfway to the right. The first notch. Okay, it's near this this first notch here. This. Okay, maybe it's uh, just past this first notch here. Almost. It's right in the vicinity of this first notch. Okay, got it. And reasonably weight cost efficient items to take. Did I uh did I go in here yet? No. Okay, and uh let's see if there's anything interesting back here. Doesn't look like it. Can't tell for sure, but not gonna stick around forever to find out. Oh, okay, there's something going on down there, I think. Okay, so our left hand, can we actually conjure to the grounds down there? No, we can't. So what I'm gonna do is hop down onto this pipe and then hop down from there to the platform. Okay, that went pretty well. Hopefully Jusargo is able to do that. Okay, right hand sword. Oh, there's a healing potion over there. Well, that's always welcome. And this character died because of a Palmer uh, arrow. Jusargo, are you really gonna hang out up there? what that was. Probably was an arrow. Okay, the Felmer Skulker, my uh, Ice Atronach is doing a pretty decent job at uh, holding it off. Not quite good enough, but uh, got it almost entirely dead. Oh, and Jazargo made it down. Great. Uh, I wonder if Jusargo actually fell all the way down from there. And my Atronach is back in a fight, and here is a pushy thing. And we want to be careful with that. Actually, oh my goodness, that was definitely not the right shout that I... I thought I was going to be shouting the Thalmer all the way off uh, the cliff. But instead, I... Oh, well, I suppose if you're going to fall, uh, if you're going to get killed, 
you might as well add an exciting fall to the end of it or something like that. Now, oh, yeah, there's a tripwire here that caused a claw to, a swingy claw thing to move along. I'm glad that I uh, spotted it. And here's a dead Falmer that I can loot. Again, you want to be careful around here because if you make a misstep, you're going to fall a uh, pretty long ways down. Okay, let's keep moving. I have the feeling that there are probably enemies down there. So let's summon some or uh, I said for not to go s start out the fight and figure out where everyone is. And I will step in here and just kind of sneak around until I uh, Again, Falmer, they do tend to poison their weapons, and I imagine they make their uh, their poisons in labs like that. Uh, that is pretty nasty, whatever it is. I guess it's a hand. Um, we will keep on moving. We might be at the level where we're going to stop seeing monsters fighting monsters so often because I think the game normally does that just to uh, weaken the monsters to give us a fighting chance. Okay. Frost Atronach is going to go pay a visit to our foes. Ouch. And now that we finally have uh, have that bound weapons perk, we are going to uh, just have tons and tons of soul gems. Uh, the game is kind of hanging there here. Might be now the software that I'm using to record the game, unfortunately, is known for gobbling a good chunk of your CPU and uh, not exactly uh, doing wonders for your frame rate. And I have noticed once uh, during the brief moments uh, when I, uh, right after I, uh, right after I stop recording an episode, it does uh, go way, way up. So yeah, this is taking a fair chunk of CPU and probably uh, it's slowing down the disk accesses that are needed to load the content for the game, but... Skyrim has been fairly demanding as a game, even at other times. Okay, here is a smithery. It happens to have a number of good alchemy ingredients here. Now it's possible that the uh, mod that I'm using that improves the lighting is also uh, making the light area a whole lot more complicated than it normally is. See if turning away from the flame changes things very much. And let's see. 
lighting things up. On the other hand, re rebooting my computer has also often helped uh, when the frame rate, uh, frame rate gets really low. So there's probably a whole bunch of factors that are working together to, uh, to make the game perform worse. Things are looking okay now, though. At least better. Still not all that great. So that seems like a decent place to end the episode. Any uh, after uh, when we come back, the game perform a little bit better. So I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been Skyrim.